Right, Huddler Hall on the Blakey Ridge Road. The sun's come out to play, the roads are dry. Following Chris and his Exige V6S. A little less chill behind us and another V6 at the very back. <coughs> So, fondly known as the Blakey Ridge Road, on the Moors Road, certainly one of my favourite roads. I think I'm going to put it in sport mode. If I want to keep up with Chris anyway, I definitely have to put it in sport mode. And I think I'm probably going to have to use the paddles. As I mentioned earlier, the sport mode on this is more like a track mode. It holds the gears right up to the red line. Sometimes you just don't want to do that really. Sometimes you just want to change gear nice a little bit early. Use the torque of this engine. It's got loads of torque, you might as well use it. Don't need to thrash this like you have to do with the Toyota engines. Oh, sheep. That's the only problem with this road, sheep. Okay. Talking about the steering wheel earlier and the way it fits nicely in your hands, nicely weighted, and there's absolutely no need to take your hands off this position. One. Bumpy in most sports cars. It's even a quite bumpy in this, I suppose. But then we go past the fans, it'll turn off. Not too much traffic on this road normally, that's why it's such a good driver's road. Visibility ahead is usually quite good. There's some blind dips, brows of hills, but generally you can see a long way ahead. There, you can't see that. I think I'm going to go into manual mode. I 
this weather. The sun's coming out. Long flowing road. Lovely views either side, the valley to our left. Spitfire at the time. And we're about to pass the pub where the road gets us there from. A line in Lake Ridge. Fast flowing road, this one. And I'm just using the paddles. And because it's such a fast flowing road, plenty of visibility ahead. I'm actually using fifth and sixth gears, really. Just cruising along here. Always gotta be wary of sheep. the wrong road. Time of the year the sheep are usually quite grown up and they know not to go on the road. <coughs> not always though. Lots of walkers out today. Browse of hills here, make sure there's no sheep in them. We'd make a bit of a mess of a fiberglass bonnet.
normally they were away when they allowed car, but these are just so tame, so used to it on this road, they just stay by the side of the road. But whenever you see any little lambs, that's when you've got to be really careful. And as I say, it's not lambing season at the moment. So I think we're fine. Castleton. Oh, station drive. Bye, it's busy. This can't be just walkers, this must be a, a shoot on maybe or something. Yeah, there must be a shoot on today. So here we are at Castleton. Lovely little village. The valley. It's a lot on the valley. Just going to put a normal drive mode so it's not too noisy for people. It was a petrol station now, the profit they're going to be making. <clears throat> so, yeah, you can tell it's not an Elise anymore. It's certainly a lot wider than an Elise. Got to give way a bit on these roads. Country lanes through little villages. That's where the Elise really excels. And where the Avora and Exige just feel the size a little bit. Sultan, out of the valley. And the sun is still shining. Although it does look a little bit black. Well, we're heading towards the coast. Left in automatic, normal mode there, and it didn't really work very well. That gearbox there kicked down okay. Just easing off the throttle, let it change gear a little bit earlier than it normally was. Seats all in place, lovely. Plenty of uh, support. Well, that's the road I thought we were going to go down. Kildale Road. That left bend. All things will be lost sharp than actually is with the signs there. Then it comes 
to this right hand bench thing, well, it can't be steep, it can't be um, sharp, but it actually is quite sharp. Yeah, you see, that shouldn't have changed gear there. I think we're going to have to go into manual mode. And using the pedals. Say now we're at the end of the road now. shape this time. You can have them over the middle of the road. Always got to be careful. One of my favourite roads. Very rarely much traffic on it. On a day like today, even though it's a Sunday. Dry roads, sun's out. Nice quiet road. Fast flowing. Then you join the main A171 T side to Whitby Road. And it's busy. That's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little drive down one of my favourite roads in the uh, North York Moors. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed that little video, and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, safe driving.